Hi, Vagaholics! Welcome to the Vagaholic TV channel where we discuss everything about luxury bags. And today I'm gonna share my impressions on this Chanel GST, which became one of my favorite everyday bags. <laughs> By the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are interested in luxury bags. We do a lot of reviews, care tips, and other useful information regarding all the luxury bags you have in your collection. All right, Chanel GST. So this bag came from one of my customers. She wants to sell it. And uh, to tell you the truth, I was never a fan of Chanel GST, and I don't know why, because theoretically speaking, I love totes. I love shoulder bags, I love um, structured bags, so I don't know why it never catched my eye, but probably because I'm not a Chanel fan. But now, uh, when, I, when I got it into my hands, I want to tell you that I would say it's a perfect bag uh, for every day. Especially if you're an office lady and you need to go to an office, that might be a perfect bag for you. As you may see, um, that's caviar and uh, that's quite firm, uh, which also means that uh, the bag won't get any scratches or any damage or anything that might be wrong with it, well, well might be wrong with a lambskin bag, uh, probably will not happen to a caviar bag. So I highly recommend, if you're thinking about getting a GST, I highly recommend you to get it in caviar from the very beginning. Um, I actually don't know whether whether they do make it uh, in lambskin or in any other material because all the Chanel GSTs that I've seen are caviar. If you know the answer, please comment below because I, I really don't know, that's an interesting question. Um, so the handle drop is very comfortable and you can wear it as a shoulder bag no matter how uh, tall you are, uh, that might be probably comfortable for everyone. Um, and uh, the space that it has inside is, uh, uh, is perfect for documents, for papers, for everything you need to go to an office, uh, everything you need in the office, right? Um, and it's quite uh, spacious, uh, it does have a lot of space inside, and that's something I really love about this bag. Uh, what I also love, it doesn't hurt your shoulder because the leather on the handle here uh, is uh, it's firm, but uh, it's quite soft, it's flexible. And I mean, when you get it on your shoulder, you, you can't even feel it. With the chains, it's not that comfortable. With the leather, uh, well, I really love the, uh, that they included this uh, leather, um, leather piece in the design of the handle because it's it's really great uh, and it feels great on the shoulder. Now you might think there's gotta be something I don't love about Chanel GST and you are correct. So whether you're getting a pre-loved Chanel GST or a new one, well, the one that appears new because as far as I know, they don't make GST anymore. Um, so you, but, but you still may find a like new condition on the Prolove marketplaces, uh, Prolove luxury marketplaces. And, uh, well, whether you're getting a pre-loved one or a new, like new one, uh, consider this. Uh, that's what will eventually happen to the uh, Chanel GST. Because eventually the material is getting softer and softer and the uh, creases happen all the time, it's unavoidable. However, if you feel like a sh you're in love with Chanel GST, that might be your favorite bag, might, might be your favorite everyday bag, um, then you might take it to leather surgeons or any other company that does bag restoration and spa. And uh, I know that these um, professionals, they uh, know how to uh, restore the structure. Basically, they open the sewing and put a firmer material inside the bag so that the structure is restored. And probably you might want to do that, but uh, I don't know uh, what would be the price on it. Uh, if you know that, please comment below. 
um, what would be the price in US for a Chanel GST? Probably, probably someone will be um, watching this video has already done that. And, uh, but, I'm, but I'm quite sure that it will be a lot. Uh, so it will be over $100, uh, maybe a few hundreds because they, they basically have to open the shoes and, uh, you know, to resue the bag. Um, that's not something that can be done in seconds or even in hours, um, not exactly. Um, so I'm quite sure it's quite expensive, but you might try that if you really love the bag. Now, I hope the video review was useful and uh, if it was, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. We will have a lot of luxury bag reviews, care tips and uh, all other interesting stuff regarding the luxury items and especially luxury bags. Thank you for watching. Um, see you next week. Bye.